Michael Artin, Professor Emeritus of Mathematics at MIT, is used to people thinking his work exists in an esoteric world of formulas and figures. Oh, mathematicians always feel that it's something that's there. It's not that they are inventing something. It's something is really there. I certainly think about it in very concrete terms. I can't do it otherwise. What geometry is, it's mathematics as expressed by our visual system in the brain. Phrases like approximation theory may not be household terms, but they describe the concepts Artin has invented. Algebraic geometry is a beautiful subject. It studies the two perspectives on the same thing. A very simple example would be a circle. A circle is something geometric, but it also has an equation in x squared plus y squared equals 1, and that's algebra. Artin immigrated from Hamburg, Germany, arriving in the United States in 1937 at the age of three. But it's not too surprising that his chosen career would eventually be mathematics. My father spent a fair amount of time with me when I was a child, teaching me things, and not necessarily mathematics. So when I went to college, I knew I wanted to do some sort of science. <laughs> and then I got to graduate school and slowly got sucked in. Got interested in algebraic geometry, primarily because of the inspiring personality of my thesis advisor, Oscar Zariski. Today, Artin is considered the architect of the modern approach to algebraic geometry. When I teach beginning calculus to students, I want them to, to understand that if you have a function of two variables, that it isn't just a formula that is a function. If you have two variables, x and y, then in the plane of x and y, you draw the curve where the function takes a certain value. And I want them to understand that this is a very general concept. It's like the contours in a topographical map. So I like the first sighting of the cabbage butterfly. It's so bizarre. <laughs> I think the students liked it, too. 